Welcome to the fourth video in our competitive intelligence series. In this video, I'll show you how to use keyword data to identify specific opportunities and take action to beat your competitors. So from inside of your segment, let's head to keywords. By default, you'll see one of your pinned products selected for comparison. If you've pinned multiple products, just use the drop down here to choose which one you want to analyze. Your pinned products are easy to spot with this symbol at the top. Below, you'll find up to 500 of the most important keywords shared between you and and your competitors, where at least one product ranks organically. These are the terms that are driving sales in your market. You can compare against up to six competitors, and there's a handy search box here to find any specific ones quickly. Once you select competitors, you might notice the keyword count adjust. That's because we're now focusing on the collective keywords that this group of products ranks for. Now let's break down these columns. After the keyword, we show the badge, which indicates if one of the products has a badge on that keyword, such as Amazon's choice, and you can hover over it to see what product it is. If you see this in orange, then congratulations. That means it's your product that has the badge. This is valuable to know because these badges can significantly boost click-through rates and conversions. Next, we can see the past 30-day search volume in both exact and broad match, as well as the search trend that displays the percentage change and a little graph here, also over this 30-day period. For deeper insights, we also show the past 90-day trends. This helps you spot where the changes are temporary blips or more longer term shifts. Next, we show you the PPC bid for that keyword in both exact and broad match. This number is the estimated median cost of the bid, so it'll give you a sense of that keyword's competitiveness. For example, we can see generic terms like face moisturizer or body lotion commanding higher bids than branded terms like CeraVe, since branded terms typically convert poorly for anyone except for that brand. So this type of insight can help you allocate your ad spend more effectively. Looking at the recommended promotions column, this shows estimated daily sales needed to reach a top three organic ranking within seven to 14 days. Lower numbers means it's easy to rank on that keyword, while higher numbers means you'll need significant sales volume to claim that top ranking, and then also to keep that that ranking in the future. But to make this a little easier to translate, we have the ease to rank column here to give you a quick idea of how easy or hard it'll be to rank on that keyword. Now for the crucial part, keyword rankings. You'll see current positions for each product and our heat map overlay gives you a quick visual guide with the darker orange meaning higher rankings. These rankings can include both organic and sponsored positions. When you're looking at overall rank, it will display whichever rank is highest, organic or sponsored. However, you can also toggle to organic only or sponsored only. So that covers all the columns, but do remember that you can customize which ones you see in order to focus on what matters most to you. Now, if you want more details about any keyword, just click to view it on Amazon or click anywhere on the row here to see historical search data going back up to two years. This trend line through the middle helps you quickly spot if search interest is growing or declining over time, which is particularly useful for spotting seasonal products or emerging trends. We then have a share of voice analysis, which ranks brands based on their dominance of a keyword. Placement is how many times that brand appears on the keyword. So this could be multiple product listings or variation listings of the same product, but all belonging to the same brand. At the top, you'll see the total number of placements that we're looking at, which may not be all the results on that one keyword, but rather the top ones, the ones that matter and are actually getting sales. Basic share of voice shows you the percentage of placements owned by that brand, but weighted share of voice is what I'd recommend you look at for more valuable insights. It gives more weight to higher rankings and any badges that a listing may have, since these are more valuable for a product's click-through rate or even conversion. For instance, a brand might appear more often, but in lower positions, while another owns fewer positions, but they're more valuable spots. This helps you understand not just where brands appear, but how effectively they're competing. And again, you can toggle between organic and sponsored rankings as well, if you wanna hone in on one of those specifically. 
In this example, we can see that the brands that dominate organically aren't really at the top when we switch to sponsored. They're probably saving their ad spend because they're already dominating so much organically. But if you are these brands, it would still be a good idea to keep an eye on who's dominating in the sponsored space. Now let's look at our keyword filters, each offering unique strategic opportunities. Shared keywords shows you where you and your competitors both rank organically. These are likely your market's core terms. Missing keywords highlights opportunities where competitors rank for keywords, but your product does not. Here our hip and joint supplement from Umove isn't ranking for major terms like joint supplement for dogs and dog vitamins and supplements, terms that all the competitors selected here are ranking for. That's a clear opportunity to either modify your listing or to target that keyword with advertising. Weak keywords shows where competitors outrank you. These might be terms to prioritize in your listing optimization efforts or in your advertising strategy. For instance, if you're ranking on page two while competitors are on page one, then a focused ad campaign could help you bridge that gap. Strong keywords highlights your dominance areas, positions that you're winning in and you'll want to defend. Keep a close eye on competitors' movements on these keywords. For instance, if they start gaining ground, you might need to make sure to strengthen your position. The advertising filter is very cool. It shows keywords where you rank low organically, but competitors rank higher organically, all without advertising. This can indicate opportunities where you could close that gap through targeted ad campaigns whilst your competitors aren't defending their position. But now let's talk about position tracking. This is where competitive intelligence becomes really powerful. See those plus signs next to each keyword? Simply click to track individual keywords or select multiple to track them all at once. In the position tracking tab, you'll get a comprehensive overview showing how many keywords your product ranks for in the top five, top 10, and top 50 positions. Think of this as your ranking health dashboard. You can view this for the past seven or 30 days and see how much these numbers have changed compared to the previous period. You can even see the specific keywords and how their rankings have changed. The keywords chart maintains all the same columns we've covered before, but now adds historical ranking data for the past 30 days for your product. This timeline view is invaluable for understanding ranking patterns. When viewing overall rank, you'll sometimes see an S in the corner of certain days, indicating that it was a sponsored rank rather than organic. But you can also isolate organic or sponsored rankings in order to focus your analysis. Additionally, you can star your most critical keywords to keep them at the top of your view. These might be your highest converting terms or those driving the most traffic. That covers the powerful data and insights available in the keywords section. Used strategically, these tools help you identify opportunities, spot competitive threats early, and make data-driven decisions about your optimization and advertising efforts. In future videos, I'll walk through specific examples from different categories and suggest workflows to make the most of competitive intelligence. But first, in our next video, we'll explore listings and reviews where you'll learn how our AI can instantly analyze what customers love or hate about your products and your competitors helping you spot opportunities to get ahead. Are you ready to start uncovering these insights for your products? Head to our website to start using competitive intelligence today. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.